This is the new Nokia N81 S60 based smartphone. It's a slider. The sliding mechanism feels reasonably good. It's not much effort to open it or close it. The keyboard, you can see here though, is very flat and smooth and there's almost nothing differentiating the keys and it's very difficult for your thumb to tell which key it is on as it slides over the buttons. It also has many, many more buttons on the navigation and control cluster here at the bottom of the phone. There are actually 11 tiny little buttons packed into this small cluster. You have your two soft keys as well as two application keys and hidden here in next to the D-ring you can see some media playback control buttons rewind, fast forward, play, pause and stop as well as green send key and red end keys. This key here will automatically jump you into the media menu. Using this media cluster is actually fairly difficult as the space between the D-ring and the clear key is fairly narrow and difficult to tell where the demarcation is between these two buttons. On the left side of the phone there's nothing but one of the speakers. On the bottom you can see the charge port and micro USB port. On the right side is the camera button as well as the volume rocker and speaker. And on the top you see power button, full three and a half millimeter headset jack, as well as a locking key. You can see here that the media programs have been revised. Here you can access the internet, Nokia Maps application, the Nokia Music Store, as well as the Engage gaming platform, and your other regular media such as pictures and contacts and more. Overall, the N81 is a step up and improvement over other N series multimedia computers such as the N80. While its updated styling may be eerily reminiscent of the iPhone, the updated appearance is a welcome sight.